Hey guys, Scott here for the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com and today we're out here at a farm site. I got a permission out here I've had for many, many, many years. We found many buttons, many coins, KGs, large cents out here. Uh, we're getting ready to get a big dump of snow and it's starting to snow already here so I thought it'd be pretty cool to bring you out here and, and detect while it's snowing. Um, I do have the Manticore today. I've been using the Manticore lately. Um, really starting to really, really enjoy this machine. Um, so we're going to do a little uh, quick tip video on the Manticore. I do these now on our full length videos and I do quick tips during the week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So let's get into the quick tip video today on the Manticore. Alright guys, today's quick tip is on the MindLab Manticore and it is on the, it's under Ferris Tone Stabilizer and the Stabilizer Filter. Those are the two features we're going to kind of briefly go over today. I'll show you how to get to those here in a minute. But what is the Stabilizer? Well basically the Stabilizer improves stability of the audio of iron falsing. It adds some nuance to the audio but it helps distinguish good targets from the bad. It may also improve target IDs and the display on the target ID or the 2D map. So the more you increase the stabilizer, the more nuance it adds to those iron falsing targets. So eventually, uh, the, the higher you go in the stabilizer, it will actually start to break up that signal a little bit. Now, the highest setting you can go from the stabilizer, you can start at a zero and go all the way up to 12. Um, I recommend starting out around three. I've been using three quite a bit here in my a uh, couple permissions I've been going to just to see how it re reacts. Uh, I like I like having three. I can I can tell pretty quickly a good target from a bad target. I've actually done some videos on that stuff, but um, I think the higher you go, you start to give up something in the machine. But I mean, if you're in a heavy, heavy, heavy iron infested site, a higher stabilizer may be required. So don't be afraid to use it. Now, what is the stabilizer filter? Well, it's only available when the stabilizer itself is at one or higher. So if it's at zero, the stabilizer filter is off, as you can see in the window right there, uh, or on the screen. But if you increased the stabilizer to one, you should be able to turn on the filter. And what it does is it adds more nuance to the target, iron target, iron object. So uh, it adds additional nuance to the audio. Uh, it, when turned on, additional processing is applied to those false audio responses. Um, it makes things sound weaker. So it's just another feature and a layer of adding more nuance to those falsing iron objects. You know, if you're in a really, really bad spot, um, you might want to turn that filter on and see what happens. So those are the two stabilizer and stabilizer filter features, <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of words to say, for the MindLab Metacore. Now let's go ahead and find out where they are in the menu. I have them right here. We'll just get back out of here to the beginning. Uh, right now I'm at the default screen. I'm in all-terrain general. But to get to those settings, um, if you start all the way at the bottom like you would normally, uh, you get your volume, your search modes, your noise cancel, ground balance, recovery speed, discrimination pattern, ferris limits. Now, Ferris tones. You will you will see this first as Ferris volume. You're gonna actually scroll over to Ferris, or I'm sorry, stabilizer. Hit that pencil, and now you're into your Ferris tones. And now you have your stabilizer options here, where you can take it all the way up to 12. You can turn your stabilizer filter on as long as the stabilizer is one or greater. But you shouldn't be able to turn that on if your stabilizer is zero. See, it actually turned off the filter. So that is your quick quick tip today for the MindLab Manticore. Hope this was useful. Uh, it's a little feature that's tucked in there. It was uh, added with the update that they came out with, MindLab came out with for the Manticore. Uh, don't be afraid to use it. I've been using it. I've been using the stabilizer itself. Not the filter so much, but the stabilizer uh, I think really does uh, tighten up those target IDs and gives you a better idea of a bad signal versus a good signal. So I've been using a stabilizer of, of three on some really, really clean sites. There's not a lot of iron, but those heavy, heavy iron sites, you may want to increase that stabilizer up a bit and just, you know, increment it up little by little until you feel like you're getting what you want out of it. 
All right, well, that's it for me today with this quick tip from the Mental Metal channel on the stabilizer and the stabilizer filter. For the Thanks for watching. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to go out here and detect as long as we can before I freeze and um, uh, we'll pick a spot out there and we'll get out there and grid it off and just kind of go slow. Uh, there's a lot of nails out here, so I'm going to use the stabilizer a little bit. I'm going to start, start very, very low in the stabilizer and increase it as I start digging more nails. So uh, that's how you use the stabilizer, just little by little, just increase. So uh, let's get out there while it's still somewhat okay to detect. <laughs> All right, we're going to start out here at this property mark. I got every dog in the neighborhood barking. <laughs> That's all right. So right now I'm in my coin program, but we're going to we're going to get out of that and uh, go to all terrain general. All right, so get in there. Uh, let's see here. Do recovery speed of four i don't need a lot of depth or i don't need a lot of speed here it's not a or a lot of um separation speed it's not that bad discrimination pattern i think i'll leave the way it is um let's go up to ferris limits i'm gonna lower the ferris limits a little bit i don't need nine i think i can go get away with maybe eight and then down at the lower whoops lower one i think i'm gonna lower it to three and go with that you know the dogs are barking <laughs> i'm sure the neighbors are loving that uh ferris volume i'm going to turn up i'm going to use uh ferris volume edit i'm gonna leave it at eight that's what i had it from before i'm gonna do a five tones and oops I'm going to use Enhanced Audio Theme, I like it, Multi-Freak, uh, Settings, come down, Ferris Indications are on, yep, everything is good. Alright, I'm going to go in here and change my stabilizer and make sure I have it at 3, I actually have it at 1, I'm going to change it to 3 and go with that. All right, I think we're ready to rock. Let's do it. All right, I got a signal here. It's 50, 59. Jumped around a little bit. Look, the 2D paint is kind of telling me it's probably going to be trash. But I like to dig everything, so just to learn what it is. Surprising, the ground isn't frozen yet. Four, staying pretty solid now. Let's see if we can pinpoint it here. Whoo, it's cold out here. Let's see it right here. Yep, a little bit of wire. No need to pinpoint. <laughs> All right, first junk target. Alright, I got a signal here. Kind of jumping around again. Probably another junk target. I probably would not dig these if I wasn't filming. But I want to show you guys out there what kind of signals you will hear at the Manticore. Which ones are iffy. Which ones make sense to dig while others maybe not so much now you're getting in the 80s and 90s <laughs> you just don't know could be a co-mingled target could be a junk target Not sure in this one. All right, let's uh, see if we can pinpoint it with the pinpointer. All 
I guess this might be a piece of farm junk. Farm equipment. Like a piece of a plow or something. Doubt it quite. Ugh. Did I get it? I think that's it right there. Yep. Probably a piece to a plow. That's what it looks like to me. Or like part of a chain or something. Chain link or some, some sort of plow equipment. So there you go. Alright, next hole. Alright, we got another questionable target here. We got a 59, 60, and then we got some jumping around a little bit. It's a very questionable target. See how it changes when you go 90 on it? I probably wouldn't dig this, but I'll dig it anyway. Just for you. Because that's what we do here on the Mental Metal channel. We try to teach how to use these machines. And I think the Manticore has gotten a bad rap. I like the machine. I do. I like it. Alright, it's back that way. Big down there. A couple big rocks. I don't see any nails yet. Let's see if we got it out. Oh, it's still in there. Let me turn the camera off and I'll get you in a minute. Alright, I finally found it. I had to go over a little bit. I was not center. It's right there. So we should be able to one more hit here. There it is. So just a nail. But you heard the difference, right? You heard that it was kind of sounded good, then breaking up a little bit when you turn 90 on it. Those are signals you can probably not dig. Again, I have my stabilizer at three, so it should alter that signal a bit for iron and make it a little bit distinguishable so I think, this, I think it's working I'm just digging these signals to show you all right let's try another one all right guys here's guys here's a signal um, that I think is probably a solid good signal the problem is the numbers so 43, 44 in a farm field. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's going to be anything amazing, but it's a solid, repeatable signal here on the Mental Metal channel. So we're going to dig it just to show you what it probably is. Yeah, it's right on top too, so you know that's not good. <laughs> it's right on top. So, what is it? Top of the ground's frozen here. Lose it. Uh oh. So it's just a little fired bullet. Looks like a 22 fire bullet laying right on top. But it was a good repeatable signal. Thought it was going to be junk, like aluminum or something, but shows you what I know. But I would dig those anyway, they're repeatable and you never know. I've dug gold rings in the 40s on this machine, so 
let's keep going. All right, now some people won't dig these 11 signals, 12s. But let me tell you, at the beach, I dig those. So I'm kind of using this beach mentality here on land. Even though the low numbers tend to be more like iron, but um, I've dug 10s, 12s, and up being like gold bracelets and stuff. So, you know, out here in the field, it's, it's, the chances are not gonna be that it's gonna be gold, but you know, we're digging it all today. Just, again, show you the difference some of the signals you're going to get with this machine. And now I lost it. Oh, it's up here. Alright. Let's try it now. Oh, you know what that next thing I could be doing too is just hunting in all metal mode to show you what looks like iron and what isn't. That might be a better idea. I'll do that here in a minute. We'll turn all metal mode on. That way you can really, really see what's going on under the coil. All right, looks like we're out. So, it's a little piece of tin here, metal. Not sure what that is. Junk, but it's not iron. It's there, that's proof. It's one of those lower numbers. They aren't always iron. <laughs> all right, let's go now to the next. I'll turn on all metal so we can hear the iron. And we'll see the red numbers too. I have the red numbers turned on. Various indications. We'll do that right now all metal and there we go next hole all right i'm gonna turn all metal mode off for a second here now here's a 63 64 signal 2d paint all over. it's kind of a big looking like a big mass turn on all metal mode Still not showing any iron, except once in a while I get a little blip of it. So I wonder what this is going to be. We should dig this one. Right there. And you probably didn't hear any of that because I didn't have the speaker turned off. Hold on a second here. Do this again. Alright, all metal mode off. This is what it sounds like. 60... 62 63 a little bit of a break in there but big old mass on the 2d 2d screen all metal hearing a little bit of iron in there but that one i would dig just because i'm not getting iron a lot it is masking over a little bit, but I think we should uh, investigate that one for sure. So right about there. Very well could be iron, but it's giving me enough of a hint that it might not be. I don't think it's a coin. I'm seeing some iron there on the side. So, the ferrous indications may be correct on this one. It's not a nail per se, it is actually a bolt. That's probably why it was giving us a bigger picture on the map. So, uh, I, would, I would agree with that. Actually, looking back, it did give us some indication of iron, but it was bigger than 
and I think the big bolt head on it was giving it more of a solid target ID. All right, we're learning. Next hole. All right, guys, I got a 39 signal here. Well, it was sounding good. Well, there it goes. I don't see any iron in there. So we'll dig this one up. Low numbers though. Not sure what we'll get. Again, I didn't have the speaker on for you. Hold on. Do this again here. So I got the old metal on. It's kind of a very iffy signal. 3940. Turn on it. Still stays. Oh, there's some iron there. Well, let's dig it anyway. Right there. Man, that wind. Whew, cut straight through you. Man, look at that little piece of, looks like a, I don't want to say it's like a bullet, but it might be like a percussion cap or something. That's tiny. There you go. Was not Ferris. Next hole. All right, here's the one I think we should investigate. Now I hear iron in there, but I'm also getting a pretty steady signal. Could be another one of these situations where there's a bolt or something in there. I'm getting more iron that way. So for realistic purposes here, realistically, I probably wouldn't dig this. Turning 90 degrees is completely changing. But, one direction, I can get it sound pretty good. Oops. So that's the thing with this machine. Changes like that, that drastically when you turn on it, and you start seeing some red numbers pop in there, you might want to, you know, pass it up. We're going to dig it anyway, just see what it is. All right, we're getting closer. I think if we go this way a little bit, we'll probably start seeing, there it is right there. Now, what we could do, since we're still, well, actually, I'm not gonna change anything. The machine's doing exactly what I want it to do with Stabilizer 3. It's telling me there's iron in the ground. It's telling me there's, the, the signals are kind of wacky and, uh, to avoid that, you gotta use a stabilizer, I think. And uh, I'm digging all these just to show you guys, but a stabilizer three, not much of a stabilizer. It is changing the signals enough where I can tell that something just doesn't make sense. So probably wouldn't have dug that one, but we did anyway for your case. All right, let's keep going. All right, I'm in all metal mode here and I come across this signal that has no iron whatsoever around it. Now it's 37, 38 signal and it sounds like it's on top. Let's see if I can scrape a little bit of these soybeans away and see it. I might be able to pinpoint it. Ouch. The ground's hard. Doesn't want to stick in the ground, the shovel. All right, so let's see what we can pinpoint on the surface. So right there. Shouldn't take much to get that out of there. Let's see what we got. Ugh. 
I see something green. So to me it looks like just looks like an old piece of brass or something. But it's still target. It is not ferrous. And that's why we dug it. Alright, next hole. Alright guys, got an interesting one here. A lot of iron here. But then you get up here there's a 64, 91, 60, no iron. Well there's a little bit of iron there. No iron there. This might be a couple targets in the hole, I think. But I could be wrong. Could be. I don't know if I would definitely inspect that one because yeah, I don't know I think turning on a little bit still gets pretty decent signal but it's just jumping around so much Whew, so now it's starting to really come down <laughs> snow that is we're gonna dig it anyway numbers are jumping way too much for me but Maybe it's something you want to check out, so we'll dig it. All right, we're right on the edge. That doesn't give me good vibes. It's probably a nail. Yep, I see it. it. Has some sort of a curved bent nail. But is there something else in there? That is my question. Doesn't sound like it, does it? So, that's one of those ones where you probably wouldn't dig just because the number's jumping so much. But I still wanted to check that one out. I was really getting a decent signal one way on it, but turning it. So far, hasn't been uh, hasn't been proving me false, but we'll keep trying here to find something good. But I think what I'm trying to do here is just show you the different ways you can kind of figure something out without digging. But well, of course, we're digging all these targets, but uh, maybe it'll save you some time in the future when you're out with this machine. All right, let's keep going. All right, we're still in all metal mode as we've been, and then I come across this signal, which is a 4748. Again, doesn't get me real excited here in this farm, but but it's a non-ferrous signal, so we're gonna dig it anyway. Maybe it's a cool farm relic. It might just be on top. Not too deep. Yep, still in there, so we'll go a little deeper here. What is that? Kind of looks round. Oh, check it out. It is a slug from, from a uh, shotgun. It's from as a deer slug. If that looked any older, I would call that a nestler and say it was confederate, <laughs> but it's not. That is a slug from a shotgun here. They're probably hunting on the farm. But that was clearly not Ferris. And it clearly told me that. All right. That was a semi-decent target. Get this plug in here so the farmer doesn't yell at me. Ugh, it's hard when it's all crumpled up. Crumpled up frozen tundra. Yeah, it's coming down, man. 
Check that out. We might have to call it a day soon so I can get home without dying. All right, next hole, I think. Who says you can't dig in the snow? A little snow doesn't scare us. It actually helps us. Then I can see where I walked and create a really good grid line. All right, just got a good signal, came across it. I am all metal still. That has a solid 64, 65. It looks really good on the screen, turn on it. it has no, no change, virtually it's still solid. Pinpoint it. That, that might be a coin. We'll see. Ground's starting to really get hard now. <sighs> All right, let's see. Oh, it's not a coin. Look at that. <laughs> yep, even out in the farm field, you get a bottle cap. But you see how different that signal was compared to the questionable ones? That was in the 60s. It could have been easily, I think, an Indian head penny as well. So if you're going to dig some trash, just par for the course. But that was a very distinct signal. Got me a little excited. All right, not too far from that bottle cap, I got another 5960 signal, perfect circle on the on the uh, target ID or 2D map. Maybe it's another bottle cap. Maybe whoever had a drink had two drinks and just threw their cap on away on the farmland. You just never know. Ugh. All right, it's in this clump. Yeah, it doesn't give me good vibes at all, knowing that it's on top like that. Look, there it is. It is a bullet, a fired bullet, or is it a bullet, or is it like one of those screw kind of thing, and it's not a bullet, it's some sort of like a brass tack or something, but wasn't junk, well I mean it is junk, but it wasn't a bottle cap. A different flavor of a 60 signal clearly identifiable and non ferrous dig that stuff all day all right here's one of those signals that are questionable 64 75 get a little sound of iron in there turn on it Still changes, but see how it's numbers are jumping a lot. It's hard to see. I know my screen's all snowy. I'm gonna dig this one because I'm not seeing a lot of iron in it. Except, except when I go that way. <laughs> so we'll dig this one. See what it ends up being. Again, this is something I would probably pass up. Or maybe I don't know. I don't know if I would pass that one up or not. Those ones are kind of curious to me. I'd probably dig this one anyway. So right here. I'll take another scoop out. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I'd probably dig this hole anyway. Oh, there it is, the culprit. 
see that it's bigger that's why you're getting those repeatable tones but not repeatable numbers they're changing a very quite a bit actually but if you're on a farm or a relic site you might you got you probably should dig those actually um if you're looking for iron and you might find some pretty cool relics but that one I probably would have dug either way just because it was repeating but not the numbers are jumping a lot but it was still an interesting target to to investigate all right a couple more we'll probably cut it short here all right guys so I'm gonna probably cut this video now if I find another target while I'm walking away here um, we'll stop and dig it but today's video is just to show you some of the iffy signals that I probably wouldn't dig and sh but I wanted to show you why I wouldn't dig them and I dug them anyway just to show you but also to kind of show you the stabilizer a little bit and how that stabilizer does impact the sound of like the ferris target so i think at a stabilizer three today it was working very very good um most of the iffy targets i'm actually almost all of them except one i think um i probably wouldn't have dug any of those in a real hunt well this is a real hunt but you know what i mean um i would have saved myself a lot of time by not digging those here's a signal right here look at that 49 48 no iron twist on the side here still still pretty solid we might have to dig that up and see what that is here sounds like it's pretty close to the top i doubt this will be anything magical they don't plow this field anymore all they do is disc it so nothing deep comes up too much anymore it's gotta be pretty close though looks like it did all right so here it is the item the mystery item is a piece of aluminum so nothing good junk but non-ferrous repeatable in the junk range again probably wouldn't dug that if it was if i was looking for coins or whatnot but anyway onward we go um i just realized the speaker wasn't even on you couldn't even hear that so i apologize i'm gonna turn the speaker on right now um what was I saying? Yep, so that's going to do it for this video, I think. Uh, the goal here was just to kind of take you out in the snow <laughs> and uh, go over some signals that sound kind of iffy, but using the stabilizer a little bit to see if we can kind of knock some of those iffy signals, make them more non-diggable by sound and by the way the target ID looks. Uh, I think the stabilizer at 3 working really well for this machine in this farm field i don't think i would go any higher all those signals that i dug today for you that i said were iffy i probably would never have dug if i was out relic hunting for reels you know um this is just mainly mainly show and tell kind of thing for you guys um and i hope to get something good out of this field but it doesn't look like it's going to happen today but hopefully it was a useful video for you. Uh, don't forget to check out the quick tip uh, that I have every Tuesdays and Thursdays during the week. It's a 16 target right there. Uh, quick videos during Tuesdays and Thursdays with full length videos on Saturdays and Sundays most of the time. Alright guys, if you're looking for the Manticore or any other metal detector or gear, please check out our friends over at Fort Bedford Metal Detectors. Uh, they're a really good company and I really would appreciate it if you tried or if you, you made an attempt to give them your business. I don't think you'd regret it. Uh, they're great to work with and uh, fast shipping and all the good stuff. They can answer all your questions if you're looking for a detector just not sure what to get. 
uh, look look them up, give them a call, check out their website, Fort Metal Detector or Fort Bedford Metal Detectors.com. All right, guys, that's it for me. Snow's coming down. I need to get out of here before roads get too bad. Thanks for coming along today in the snowy tundra of the Mental Metal channel. Thanks for watching. See ya. <laughs>